I have a lot of people asking me what is the Havel H8? As you can see the Havel H8 is a large SUV somewhat similar to the Volkswagen uh, Touareg or uh, Audi what is it Q5, Q7 but yeah somewhat stylish as well being told that Havel is one of the main manufacturers in China for SUVs uh, and they're just introducing the Havel range in Australia we've had this vehicle for about a couple of weeks now and to be honest with you I've had a lot of people staring and gawking and asking us a million questions and the drive is somewhat different uh, when I say somewhat different I mean somewhat awesome really enjoyable comfortable uh, power when you need it just a little details on the outside so what we're looking at is chrome side steps uh, standard 19 inch wheels uh, keep in mind this is the Havel H8 uh, LUX so the Lux version uh, we've got little chrome accents here and around the windows which makes it look nice and neat just walking around the vehicle a bit more it is an all-wheel drive version being the Lux version uh, might be it's a twin exhaust I'm not sure if it, the stain is still right through but we'll have a quick look see if we can see anything no I don't think they are stainless steel but yeah definitely twin exhaust for sure Uh, we've got the privacy glass at the back, uh, which comes standard obviously with uh, these type of SUVs. Uh, decent size, what type of wheels are these? Uh, Cooper tyres, uh, 255-50R19s. Walk around the passenger side to the front. We've got these sort of what we call, what would you call it? Mercedes inspired vents on the bonnet. Uh, it makes it look quite fancy. Awesome huge grill at the front. Now these are the lights that uh, they're adaptive lights so at night time when you're cruising along and you turn the steering wheel they actually turn in the direction that you're facing. You've got your spotlights and your daytime driving lights as well. Some more chrome down the bottom. Uh, fancy thing with these is yeah you've got actual like a uh, headlight screen cleaners that they pop out and clean the actual headlights kind of impressive uh, just one of the small features that this car's yeah got heaps of uh, we'll just move on into the inside you've got the the button to unlock the doors and lock them as you can see the mirrors moving um, let's just try and work out how to unlock these doors now and that's not gonna work Let's get out the key. Here we go. Havel keys. So with the Havel keys, you've got the unlock, boot release, the lock, and the alarm. Uh, electronic boot release as well. Tailgate release. So I'm gonna lock the car first, as you can see, and then we'll do the boot. Automatic tailgate. Uh, let's have a look at the boot or the tailgate area. Ah, uh, yeah, got a family of. Two adults and two little ones, so definitely needed a big car. Chose a tan interior, uh, heaps of boot space in here. Um, in here is just some spare parts and access to the petrol cap in case of an emergency if you can't open it on the outside. Uh, over there is, on the left is the subwoofer and amplifiers and what have you for the stereo. Some more chrome areas down here. Uh, like a safety guard so you don't damage the rear bumper uh, up here you got the automatic or the tailgate the automatic version and you've also got a handle version um, but yeah this is always fun so that's always interesting and fun let's move on into the inside cool so just quick features on the door you've got your lock and unlock of the door while you're driving uh, or once you jump in you've got your standard features of your electric windows you know, the rear windows the front windows you can lock the windows uh, for the rear uh, you've got your mirror controls 
Uh, and I believe this button here uh, actually stops the mirrors from automatically closing and opening. On the, on the chairs you've got your standard features which is up and down, uh, forward and back, you've also got yeah your what are we looking at here, yeah that's it, so you got your you can set uh, three different settings in the seats. Um, what's cool about these seats is what you find kind of get in European model cars is the extra area uh, when needed. Seats are heated, cooled, front and back. Uh, so that includes the rear seats at the back. Uh, kind of hard to see because we've got two baby chairs in there. But yeah, the back seat's actually heated and cooled as well. Uh, full leather, feels nice. It's really supple. Um, I wouldn't say it's hard leather, it's, it's kind of decent quality leather for what you get. Uh, at the front as well you've got front massage chairs, uh, ear activated which is pretty cool. Uh, definitely useful on those long journeys. Uh, so here we have the inside of the Havel. Uh, down here you've got your, what have we got, it's just your lights display so from my understanding, we've only had this car for a couple of weeks but from my understanding that's on automatic at the moment. Um, and then you've got your just your driving lights, your, your normal lights uh, if you don't want it on automatic. You've also got your dimmer switch. Um, you've also got your clean your headlights which we were talking about at the front before. So you push that button and something pops out cleans the headlights. Um, and your that turns off the lights I believe that turns when you turn uh, at the, the front headlights. <laughs> Maybe one of those days. Um, you've got your, your fake wood grain which is which is kind of nice. It goes along all the doors as well. Uh, at the rear as well. Uh, so it goes along right across the dashboard. Passenger doors and as you can see down the rear doors as well. Um, up here you've got a sunroof uh, with a few different options. Uh, you can close the sunroof as normal and you can fully open the sunroof. It's also got a tilt option as well. On the steering wheel, you've got, or we'll turn on the car, so it is a, a touch button uh, to turn on the car, so... It's not too noisy. Oh, not too noisy to be honest with you, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, just close the door. So here you've got uh, just options. Let me turn down this music. Uh, here you've got options for the display. So at the moment it is showing me how many kilometers I've done and you can change it to tire pressures, um, your yeah, average speed and so forth. The list just goes on and on. You've also got yeah, hang up phone, answer phone. Uh, this takes you back out of the menu if required. Over here you've got your mute for your volume, you've also got your mode regarding the stereo and what have you as well and choosing different channels. What's pretty cool as well, you've got your little shifters back here. Uh, kind of firm little shifters which is cool. When you're in sports mode you can yeah, obviously change gearing just from yeah, the steering wheel which makes it a bit more sporty. Uh, being a European based model you've got your windscreen wipers on the right. Uh, so you've got your rear windscreen wipers and your front windscreen wipers. You've also got an automatic setting which senses the, when it rains and it automatically turns on. Uh, on the left hand side you've got your indicators. Uh, so that's something you've got to get used to and down below the indicators, not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. You've got your little cruise control stalk. Uh, pretty cool. You've got your decent sized vents with once again some more chrome accents. Uh, and your hazards control CD, DVD player. Um, in here is your maps and any type of data that you need. Once again, this is the Lux package which comes with all the full options. Um, now, before we go through the menu, uh, I'll definitely show you some functions down here. Uh, I mean, you've got your dual zone climate control. Um, you've got yeah, recycled air and, and so forth. Uh, down here is your transmission control, I believe. So you've got your sport, your economical, and your snow versions. Uh, now we'll just get into the seat. So you push, you've got your right seat, and obviously your left seat. These are to control the front seats. Uh, so when you push the right seat, it shows up on the screen. I'm not sure if you can see because of the glare, but up here you have got massage support, which adjusts the lumbar support. You've got your heating and your ventilation. So you can either 
I mean for heating today's a warm day I won't turn it on but you've got your normal ranges from low medium to high your ventilation is the same which I'll turn on today because it's kind of warm what that does it blows air into the seats uh, I guess gives you a, a cool or warm tush as you choose fit for yourself uh, your support is your lumbar support. You can have one is obviously the lowest off and obviously the highest that goes is five, which is quite decent um, While we're here I might as well turn on the massages make myself comfortable while I'm making this little video So what that does is it's air-controlled massages. Oh, that feels good actually Well, yep, I'm definitely leaving that one on <laughs> Okay, so that's enough about that uh, now we're just going through some of the options. I mean yeah, what happens is let's turn down this volume a bit. Uh, so what happens is at the moment um, you can control this habit uh, button. A lot of people will ask, what is a habit button? A habit button is just a button that you can adjust to make it whatever you want it to be. For instance, at the moment when I push habit, I've got it to go automatically to the vehicle state. It is a weird button. I, don't know why they called it a habit but when I've yeah I've, I've adjusted it so every time I push habit it goes to the vehicle state and it shows me different options so at the moment they are altitude uh, atmospheric pressure your torque split when you're actually driving which is kind of interesting and pretty cool um, your engine water temperature uh, transmission temperature your battery voltage uh, but to adjust the habit it's kind of simple just like your radio so you hold it down and it'll give you different options that you can make the habit button send you to uh, at the moment I've, as i said i've got it in the vehicle state but yeah you can definitely choose different things like audio or anything like that uh, display adjustments and so forth uh, so it's just a easy going button here you've got your standard controls which is your forward rewind phone call uh, obviously to make phone calls uh, at the moment i don't have it paired oh yes i do i've got it paired to my mobile phone which is yeah automatically done uh, your navigation control is pretty impressive it's actually been updated to 2017 maps i believe it has uh, and it's got most of the speed options and functions uh, i mean the speed cameras uh, that i noticed uh, it does tell me the the split second that'll go over the speed limit but i'm sure that is adjustable just haven't had a chance to go through all the features at the moment I mean your source, I mean you can definitely change your sources from USB iPod to AUX to DVD to your Bluetooth, your CD, FM. You also got control to the rear DVD players, uh, being, once again being the Lux model we opted out for the DVD players at the back which is pretty cool uh, having two kids as well especially for long journeys uh, <laughs> so we don't, we don't pull our hair out. Uh, so your display, um, you've got random features like uh, I mean areas like coordinates, your history, where you've gone on your maps, uh, even if you need to make a phone call uh, you can definitely just type in the number and push the call button which will call back to whatever number you need to. Let's just quickly go through the menu so the vehicle, vehicle settings, I mean you've got lighting settings um, so you've got just the rain sensor, power saving settings so forth, I mean too many settings to go through to be honest with you comfortable settings uh, just yeah I mean including even your gated settings uh, when you push the remote control you can unlock all four doors or unlock two doors you can have your mirrors automatically fold your parking setting if you wanted to go to automatically park or you can push the button down here and it helps you or guide you with all the beeping noises when you get closer to another object or vehicle uh, what else have we got vehicle state. Uh, once again this is what I've got automatically go with my habit button which is your altitude or atmospheric pressure. Your vehicle inclination. Uh, this is also pretty cool as well especially while four-wheel driving not that we've done it but yeah when you go on a bit of a hill or something like that it shows you the degree that the car is going on and different angles and so forth. Uh, back button. Your amp status is just different for your voltage for your, your amp at the back amperature temperature just quickly go for the settings I mean you've got your random things like your clock your unit information 
uh, audio so you can adjust all the audio settings uh, also speed sensitive volume control so it adjusts as you increase the speed uh, especially when jumping on the freeway you want a little bit louder noise some people don't like that some people do but that's enough about the electronics functions at the front uh, and, uh, as you can see a nice firm stalk with a clutch engagement up the top uh, pretty decent size uh, ashtray uh, not that we use it though. Two cup holders at the front. Uh, pretty fancy little Havel cup holder. Definitely ask for that when you buy your Havel. Pretty cool, got to admit. You got your double compartment at the top. Uh, this is the remote control that it comes with for the dual, rem or dual DVD players at the back. And a pretty decent glove box. A little center console. It's deep enough to put, I mean, you would put a soft drink or a 600ml bottle. Uh, I've also got a USB in there and it closes quite comfortably. Uh, I mean, up the top you've got a speaker there. What else can we show you? Decent sized glove box. Uh, got a little medical kit in there, some garbage bags. What we'll do now is we'll head to the back seat and just show you some features for the back. Once again, you've got your, well, we chose tan. I believe there's three options at the moment with a H8, which is black, tan, and beige. Uh, beige, I believe, is what the roof looks like, uh, or the color of the roof, um, but yeah. So yeah, have all floor mats, pretty plush floor mats to be honest with you, it's thick. At the back you've got your little controls, uh, which I forgot to turn on, huh? we've got it on. So you control, you can control your your temperature and your fan speed for the rear and where you want the air to flow. I mean you can do it down the bottom or at the top. Here. We do apologize just about the mess. We've had this for a couple of weeks and the kids make a mess. Uh, so what we've got here is your center compartment, which is a dual compartment. First here you've got storage. Once again, it feels nice and, and lustrous. And the other area you got seat. Oh, sorry, not seats. Uh, cup holders. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm forgetting my English. Oh, what else? Another fancy thing about this car is the mood lighting. I'm not sure if you can actually see it at night time. Oh, during the day, sorry. Uh, at night time, you can definitely see it. Uh, what we call the mood lighting. It goes around all the chrome. It changes actually. It actually changes color. And around the door, just under here, you've got like little lights right around the whole vehicle, which is pretty fancy. Uh, also around the glove box down here. Uh, let's try and turn this on. No, I might have to close the door. Sunglass holder. Can't forget that. What? Oh, let's see if we can turn this on. No. Sadly, I can't turn it on during the day. Let's see if I can have the lights on. No, it won't turn on during the day, which is sad because I really wanted to show you guys. Oh, there we go. No, oh, got it. So you got your blue. Uh, obviously, the blue lights up there. A uh, little light to show that it's on. Uh, and yeah, it's hard to see, but the blue lights up around there as well. Uh, different color choices are blue, red, which sort of looks pinkish during the day, orange. And back to blue, uh, but yeah. So that's that's all there is regarding that. With a Havel a H8, you get the mirrors on both sides. They've obviously both got lights as well. Oh, I'm really enjoying this massage. I've got to admit. On the dashboard, back to the dashboard again. You've got your. Oh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Yep, there we go. So you've got your temperature, your rev gauge your average speed or obviously the settings that you can change at the top you've got your time your temperature outside uh your odometer uh we've only done 577 kilometers and then you've got your oh, there we go so you've got your speed in kilometers and your fuel gauge 
so yeah I'm, I'm sure there's heaps more features in this car that I haven't mentioned but yeah I mean it definitely definitely is worth every dollar to be honest with you I mean something in this range I would definitely be looking at around sixty seventy thousand uh, dollars for a four-wheel drive car that's you know two litre, two -litre turbo uh, but yeah it's you know for the price that we paid this is definitely definitely a good buy um, but yeah I'm gonna go enjoy this ride and hope everyone else enjoys this video be sure to subscribe and thumbs up to the video so I can make some more thanks guys thanks for watching and have a good day